Welcome back, you guys. This is Tessindra, continuing my Hoi for Kaiserreich campaign as the American Union state after post-Civil War America. And we're just sort of, you know, you know, feeling out how we're standing compared to the world. Like, not very well. I've lost a lot of stability. When we gained all of these cores all over the place, we lost a whole bunch of stability. But hopefully that's gonna rise up again. Is it me or is this game a bit loud right now? Um, it's probably fine. Uh, let's see here. Ace generation chance. No. Give me this. Thank you. Available planes in reserves. Um, right. So I did assign two fighters and two close air support dudes onto this guy. I think I'll do the same to all of these divisions. Let's just do like, uh, 200 of you. And then we'll do uh, 200 of you. And then we can do... Ugh, I hate this. There's so many useless ones in the way here. Ah, what's this? Go away. The Long Night. The rift between Long and Pele had been growing since before the Civil War, and with the Civil War over, their differences grew more and more. Pele moved against him. In the dark of night in New Orleans, Pele and his goons put into place their plot to assassinate Long and wrest power away from Long. Soon enough... Oh... So, let's take a look at this, shall we? No, no, no. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. So, the Minutemen rush in and arrest Pele and the traitors. We get internal conflicts. Stability minus 20. And daily political power cost 0.5. Okay, the AFP will become the ruling party. They already are. Uh, change the popularity of national populists. Oh, so they take over. That means I lose all my party popularity. No! Okay. Remove all head of government ideas, remove all foreign ministers, remove all minister of interior. So we will get Theodore G. Bilbo. He's a local tyrant. Daily political power gain, negative, but resource gain efficiency. We, we're America. We don't, we don't really need that many resources. We already have everything we need. Tyler Kent, foreign minister, uh, ideological crusader. Doesn't really matter. He does nothing for us. Uh, Robert Edward Edmondson. Corrupt kleptocrat. Resource gain efficiency 8%. Production efficiency cap minus 10. Construction speed, but it gives us political power. Really, these guys are all horrible. William H. Murray, which grants Minister of Interior, Prince of Terror. Daily political power gain. Local resources. Local manpower. Local factories. Gains national spirit. Internal conflicts. I'm hating this. There's got to be some better dudes here. Like, the head of state guy, head of government, Theodore G. Bilbo, is horrible. Well, you know, the resource gain efficiency is useless, and losing political power is meh. So we're stuck with that guy if we do this. But right now, this guy that we have in control is also not really doing anything. Uh, okay, but let's see here. National populists. Uh, justify war goal time. We could swap out the dudes that get put into the office here. Who, did, who was it? Tyler Kent, this guy. So he's useless, he does nothing for us. Justify war goal time. Same ideology, it's basically the same dude here. Uh, improve relations opinion. So he's actually not that bad. Okay, Henry Ford, we would lose him, and we would get Robert Edward Edmondson, this guy here, who is just a horrible, horrible person here. Keynesian economics, economy, that's also just horrible. These guys are both horrible. Ooh, Howard W. Smith. Mixed economy, construction speed, gain efficiency, and if production efficiency cap. I like this guy. Administrative genius. Research time, factory output. Ooh, I like this guy. We could swap this guy out who's useless for this guy at some point. 
So it's not all horrible. So we would get also uh, William H. Murray, this guy, Prince of Terror. It's only useful in territory that I take over. It means that I get more resources, manpower, and factories from occupied territory. That's all it means. And then I get some political power from him. So he's not that great. Uh, stability, resistance growth. I kind of like this guy. Uh, resources, again, don't need it. Again, we don't need this. So we could swap this guy in at some point. But we're stuck with the head of government guy who is going to cost us political power. I'm willing to test this out because I checked out, like, this thing here. If we go for Jim Crow's America... Uh, daily political power cost, stability, consumer goods. Um, the thing is, I don't really like what where this guy is going, like share our wealth and like ideological an ideological democracy. It just feels weird. Let's try going like full racist on this, shall we? Yeah, why not? So, Long is found dead, and Pele takes power. There we go. So, this guy looks like a douche. And we have Jim Crow's portrait over us right now. So my party popularity is horrible. Low popularity, I know. Downfall instability, yeah. Oh, that's even more time you have to spend on growing again. But it's fine. It's fine. So let's go ahead and grab close air support. I was still doing this while I uh, was trying to decide on this. Um, we'll go ahead and put 200 and we'll put 200. Yeah, save. It's fine. We're not at war right now. Chill with the music. Close air support. Yeah. And you guys air superiority. And we will assign you two to this guy. And you two to this guy. Okay. Now that's done. We got some air support for our battalions there. Give me this. And we're gaining, we're losing political power. Really? The long doctrine. Well, we're gonna get uh, political power from this. And. Yeah, we might have to go down this route immediately. We're going to need some political power right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Eternal conflicts, low popularity, recovering from the American Civil War. So not only was we were fighting like in the corner here against this giant CSA, but now once the war is over, we're going to have to spend a lot of time recovering. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I got nothing else to say, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. Ah, inferior, fortified. This is fortified? What exactly is fortified over here? There's one fort. Oh, there's, there's two forts. Oh, there's a few forts on this border, but there's no troops. Bhutan has capitulated. Ah, okay. Let's open this up. Yeah, it's fine. So, how much time are we going to spend on recovering here? I imagine it's going to take us quite a while. And I would like to make light cruisers instead of this. But, um, that's fine. So, we still got the one battleship and we're stacking up a few destroyers. That's fine. Uh, Toad Anti-Tank don't have a blueprint. Cannot remove, yeah. Okay. Uh, we just gotta, you know, all of these divisions we got added to us, I think, because of the Civil War. But they don't go away after the Civil War. And none of my battalions are actually a part of this. I think they're all over here. 78 divisions. Like 48 and then 30, yeah. All of them are this guy here. So, yeah, whatever. Anti-tank? Oh, yeah, we got that in storage. Beautiful. Should we make some more divisions? Uh, we could. We could also make some garrison divisions for, like, the coastline here. Let's do support. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. We were going to do line artillery, aren't we? 
Yes, we were. No, 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 no. Artillery. Thank you. Get rid of this guy and get rid of this guy. Move this guy. Uh huh. No, not garrison. So, artillery goes down the drain, but it's fine. We can also remove the support artillery and grab the hospital then instead. Nice. Okay. So, we have to start doing this one right now, Jim Crow's America, to get some political power. I would like to swap out a lot of the dudes that we have, who are just dreadful. Uh, the Long Doctrine. With the American Union state firmly established, defeating the syndicates in Central and South America was necessary to ensure the security of the new state. A strong position would allow for interventionism against the syndicates before they could successfully secure a position in the Western Hemisphere. Some were concerned that the AUS was spreading itself thin and that internal issues, internal issues should be addressed first. Uh, I want to fix my own shit first. Sorry. Um, give me this. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, it takes a while to go away, apparently. Yeah. Um, hmm. Let's see here. If I were to have recon, Ludna anti tank, and then shovels. Yeah, this is fine. If we were to make, like, I don't know. Oh, we don't have the artillery for this. Uh, but it's prioritizing this anyway, so it's fine. If I were to make, like, 30 of these guys. Um, and just put them on the coast to defend against uh, like naval invasions and shit because the garrison units are quite strong when it comes to defending but that's about it if you try to attack with the garrison unit eh, nothing's gonna happen <laughs> it's not gonna do anything um, so stability is horrible send in the army is still working its thing here so once that's gone, we're gonna gain. We're, gonna, we're still gonna lose political power, but the other things go away. That's good. Okay, okay. So you're both. Oh, you both have the same colors. Let's make you like red. Let's make you blue, and you can be like yellow. Oops. I click the same guy every time. Blue. Huh? You can be red. Okay, so we're making a whole bunch of naval dockyards. Yeah, we're gonna make a huge navy. Let's hope. So yeah, red, red, yellow, and blue. I guess we could make this guy white to be red, yellow, and uh, red, white, and blue. Right? Can we make white? Uh, kinda. I guess it's sort of grayish, isn't it? Yeah. And this one doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Red, white, and blue. This one does nothing? It's different hues, but it's all like, yeah. Jim Crow's America is done. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and replace somebody in our government. This guy is actually gaining us political power. Um, let's see here. Um, Prince of Terror is gaining us political power. So I guess we'll swap out this guy first. National Populist is giving us decryption and supply consumption. This guy, yeah, he's giving us the same guy as this. Uh, daily political power gain. Daily political power gain. Research time. I think, we, actually, I like this guy here. Let's get some more political power. Are we positive? Yeah, we don't have a focus, though. So, democracy for white men. Daily political power gain. Protecting our race. That's very, very racist. Stability plus one, daily political power cost 0.2. Okay, that's almost half of the malice they're gone. But 
We need both of these to go down here. Yeah, so we have to do both of these. Let's do the political power one first. And then we will see what we do. So what other planes do we have available to us here? We have some fighters. We have some bombers. Can we fill out another bomber division? Let's see. Interwar bomber. If I set you up to 200. Uh, let's go ahead and fill you up here. Advanced fire bases. So we're going to give you strategic bombing. I'm going to put you over here. And I'm going to put you into Mexico. You actually have 200 bombers. That's nice. Okay, so we have one assigned to Canada. Bombing the fuck out of those guys. And one in Mexico. Okay. What else do I have here? Like, um... 236 CAS. So that's close air support. The Colorado River Dam is complete. It took several years, a large amount of money, and more than a few lives, but we managed... We, But we have dammed the Colorado River. With its help, we can irrigate the surrounding areas, prevent floods, and generate high enough... and generate enough electricity to, to supply almost the entire region. So... Hooray for Boulder Dam. Hooray for... Jedediah Smith Dam. No, Boulder Dam. We get infrastructure, civilian factory, and stability. I like the stability. I like the stability. So I don't think we can actually go negative. Uh, not from just like ticking that. Unless I actually go negative and then I keep ticking words downwards, which is weird. I remember that in my Russia campaign where I went to like zero and I was like negative five, but I didn't go down. And then I got an event firing that put me negative and then it kept putting me negative, which was just ridiculous. Uh, okay, so... Point one is not enough. It's gonna technically still be negative when this is over. So, yeah. New America! And then we get the new constitution. And we have to go down this route, I think, at some point. To go ahead and fix uh, recovering from the American Civil War. But I would like to do this one. I want to do this one. War plan gold. Political power. Ooh, we might have to do this one. Change in popularity of totalist, syndicalist, and radical socialist. I just want the political power. It's enough to swap out a uh, dude. Uh, we could do that. Uh, but who would we swap out? So we swapped out this guy here. Ooh! Wait a minute. The Berlin has fallen? The Commune of France has all of Europe over here. And they're still fighting Russia. Russia is part of the Russian alliance, which is Belarus, Tibet, and Maklik. Interesting. So, what about the Reichspacht? Are they dead? Yeah, it seems like it. The conquest of Germany. Really? Yeah, it's no longer occupied. So they're going to create a puppet over here. Soonish. We're probably going to lag for a bit here. Okay, so what I want, I would like to go down this route here and just finish this, but I'm thinking that 150 political power is going to be good. But all of these guys are giving us political power right now. So maybe it's not that important. Yeah, let's just finish down this thing here. We'll finish. It's 42 days, and it's not all 70 days. So we got 42, 35, 42... 42 and 70. Okay. He's not going to create the puppet? Really? Why not? Come on. He usually creates a German puppet. Like, he either splits them up into like five different nations. Or just makes like one big one. Uh, okay. You're still fighting. Brussels and Bulgaria. Really? And you're now pushing into Russia. Oh boy, how are we going to fight this? <laughs> I have no idea. But Brussels is about to fall here. That's interesting. Lithuania is about to fall. And yeah, but Austria might go to war with them. Or they might go to war with Austria at some point here. I don't know what your plan is here, Austria, but you haven't really formed anything important. You haven't made, like, 
the Empire, the Danubian Federation, or anything. So, we're kind of waiting on you, buddy. Lithuania was annexed, yeah. There we go. Prussian Republic, Union of Hanover, Rhenish Socialist Republic, and the South German Union. Really? Interesting. Let's go ahead and grab construction. Interesting. Okay. So have we made any carriers yet? We have made one carrier. Is he fully operational? Yes. Beautiful! That is quite nice. I haven't taken any naval doctrine, have I? No. So we're gonna go uh, to base strikes, I imagine. Uh, we did have something over here like... Uh, yeah, carriers or... Fleet in being, yeah. So we're gonna go down the carriers route. And we might actually go quite long in this campaign. I'm not like maybe in like 1950 or something like that. Because I have a lot of things to do here, don't I? It's gonna be interesting. Okay, protecting our race. Mm -hmm. It's all very ra racist titles here. Welfare for the white man. Or we can get stability 10. And then daily political power cost 0.2. Okay, so we will actually start gaining political power right now, once I finish that one. So that's good. We are recovering from this. Okay, okay. Uh, we are training the garrison units. Um, you still don't have all the artillery, but that's fine. Indo-Chinese Union has capitulated. And we just got nukes. Nice. Okay. Uh, 1941. Uh, special force? No, let's get mechanized. And we also need to start getting some tanks. I would also like another research slot. And then I would like a Coke and with some fries. Thank you. Um, it's a lot of things I want. Every day. Every single day. There's more and more things I want. <sighs> okay. Uh, war support is massive. That's really nice. Stability, not so much. But once internal conflicts fixes itself, it will be fine. Yeah, France is just butchering what's left of the German like Union, the Reichspacht. Uh, they still haven't taken Brussels, which is weird. Uh, I might as well just start making some light cruisers, even though they're light cruiser ones. Come on, stop lagging. There we go. American fleet. And uh, let's swap you guys over like this. Okay, something like this. So we're making 5.7 of these a year. Nice, nice. So you guys declared war on Morocco. You're a part of the Entente. Uh, if, if the Commune of France takes care of the French Republic, which might happen, I could go ahead and take care of Canada and then we could just split the pot. And that would be nice. I would just take America and then like Greenland. And I would grab the Panama Canal. Oh, they've taken that. Those bastards. We have to go down here and kill these guys. Canada also has Belize. Why? Why do they have Belize? Uh, okay, then we're gonna need some Marines as well, aren't we? America is a Christian nation. Okay. So we should start gaining political power right now. Nice. Uh, let's take a look at the marines over here. Increase in stability. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we'll make you 10 wide with uh, engineer companies. That's it for now, though. How many of you can I train? I can make 10 of you. Technically 11. But I'll make 10 of you right now. I can deploy units. Uh... Okay, I didn't set a location. Just go in North Carolina. They don't have everything they need right now. They're missing a few... Uh, missing a few artillery pieces. Oh, I did inf infinity. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I'll make one more of these for like the East Coast, I suppose. So I'm going to make you another theater over here. Give me somebody defensive. Um, 
You have no stats, so you'll be fine. Let's go ahead and do a garrison order along the entire coast. And your only job is to defend uh, the naval bases. So we will gonna... I can just do this, but this is your only job. Okay. And nice. Nice. We could give you a field marshal. I had another one. Yeah, we have Patton. Okay, that's nice. So the other 30 dudes will take the uh, west coast. Nice. I like this. I like this. So we can focus on attacking because we have secured our docks at the very least. And that should be nice. Hunt and destroy. Um, yes. Give me this. Uh, we could take the squads that we have assigned here. Let's see the close air support. If it just beef you up to 400, I can beef you up to 400. I usually like to go for 200 wide, but I'm thinking we just increase it a bit more since we have so many planes. So the bombers are capped at the moment, and we're not making any. So I'll scale you back down to 200. It's fine. Okay. Uh, you guys, I'll scale up. Let's do the fighters. And then the close air support. Let's see if that's fine. Yep, you're fine. And then we can assign you like this. We don't have enough fighters. But we are making them. Nice! Okay. Okay. Everything is working fine. Welfare for the white man. Look at all of these modifiers. The national spirits we have. So we can go the uh, a new American century. And then we can get the new constitution. Which takes 70 days. But once that is done. We could either go for this. And go all the way down here. Which is a lot of work. Because this is 70 days. Every single one of these is 70 days. Or I could do the long doctrine doctrine and start going after some of these people here league of american nations oh i have to create the faction first our military strategists have devised a plan for keeping america safe in the western hemisphere long under our protection as per the monroe doctrine now we must work with the other nations to destroy syndicalism and any and all threats to america that may be in our backyard Mexican intervention okay so if I were to just push these guys out right now that would be fine so you guys get assigned here I'm gonna move you and beautiful let's just give you like a nobody this guy here it's fine and you're gonna go ahead and guard this coastline Yes, but only like this. Okay. That is now done. And now we can have even more marines. Nice. Welfare for the white man. Tex League of American Nations. <sighs> okay. We're almost done with this. And <laughs> look at this. We made six political power right now. But technically we're positive. Technically we're positive. Ah, uh, the the platinum the Plati platinian war. That's basically Ar Argentina. Yeah, so Brazil and Argentina are now at war. Uh, you have like eighty-five. Yeah, you're fucked. But your manpowers are horrible. They're limited. You have the same, huh? Yeah, but I still think Brazil is going to take this. I reckon. <sighs> this guy, he he does look like a complete ra racist asshole. He looks like a like a a plantation owner, right? You see those old movies with like the racist like cotton farmers? They all look like this guy here, like racist white bastards. <laughs> William Dudley Pele. His name is even Dudley. This guy couldn't be possibly any wider than he is. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like this as well. Red, white, and blue. Right? 
We're going full American on this. Even though I'm not American. Uh, let's see here. Uh, large river crossing. Huh. I thought I gave you guys like everything right now. Line artillery, yes. Support anti-tank, logistics, field hospitals. You should be fine. Why are you hesitant about this? Line artillery? Okay. Mm well, I think we will win against Mexico. I, would, I think we could go after Mexico without any issue right now. Let me take a look at this. Where is Mexico? Mexican intervention. But apparently I have to have League of American Nation, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be this one. A League of American States. So I have to create the faction first, and then I can do this. And then I can intervene in Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Panama, and Central America. Ooh. Reclaiming Alaska. I already have that. Reclaiming Hawaii. So once I do Manifest Destiny, I think I would automatically complete all three of these. Because we have the Southwest, New England, and the Pacific. But not Hawaii. Okay, so the new constitution. And then we will be rid of that political conflicts one. Uh, let's see here. The death of Huey Long swept into power William Dudley Pele. This allowed the extremists within the American First to reshape America to their own desires. And today a new dawn has risen in America. Once located to mainly the South, Jim Crow laws now are the law of the land throughout the country. Christianity has been reinforced as the religion of the people and the country. God bless America. Ten stability. Well, it's racist, but I like it. Thank you. Thank you. So the send in the army is gone. Yeah, okay. Nice. We've stabilized at least a bit. Tiny bit. 1942. Yeah, tanks. I need tanks. Uh, we have to finish this one first. And then we can get the medium tanks. Nice. Very, very nice. And... Yeah, you guys are just assigned to Florida. Once you're done, I will push you out. So how are you guys defending the West Coast here? There's 10 dudes in LA. No. Oh, San Francisco, San Diego, sorry, has five. LA has five, San Fran has five. Yeah, you divide it up quite nicely here. I don't think anybody's going to be able to land in any of these provinces. It's going to be difficult, at least. So we're going to gain uh, four, seven more dockyards. But that's going to put us over, I think. We can skip, like... Let's skip these two. So we're going to gain five. That's perfect. And so we're going to do... Infrastructure? Uh, does that help? No, it doesn't do anything. It does not do anything. Um... We haven't even unlocked synthetic refineries. We could do naval bases. So I think I will beef up LA and then Seattle on this coast. We'll get uh, New Orleans up to 10 as well. Miami, Virginia is fine. And then we'll go all the way up here to put you Boston at 10. Let's make some strong uh, dockyards. Ah, uh, no, not dockyards. What are they called again? This is Dockyard. This is Naval Base. Right. And then we can get some airports. We got 10 and 10 over here. Uh, let's see. We got 10. Let's put you on 10. We'll put you on 10 and this with you as well. And I'm kind of like, 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 like. Um, I guess over here? That's fine. We're just going to build a lot of stuff because we have a lot of civilian factories available to us. A whole bunch. And our consumer goods factories right now are at zero. Really? Really? Zero. That is ridiculous. <laughs> We're using every single factory we have to our advantage. How cool is that? So I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here, guys. So... We are almost done with our political situation and after that we could focus on our industrial one or we could start 
expanding to our neighbors. I would kind of like to go after Mexico next because they're not in a faction and we could reclaim the Panama Canal and everything down there. Yeah, you have volunteer forces. Uh, you guys are not in a faction together, so that's interesting. Um, that means you're easy pickings. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.